Okay, guys, I'm from Christian here with his old style because I'm go I did this in my Advanced System Care 5, and I'm gonna show you up how to basically run Mac OS X Lion image into your on your PC, and it's if you have good enough PC with uh, enough RAM, you can basically run it really really smoothly the only, th only thing that lags are YouTube videos let's get into it so there will be a link down below in more info description on how to get it on the on the, a torrent link and it looks something it looks the same like this you'll get this Mac 10.7.2 uh, you'll have this you'll you won't have you'll have it like that okay so you have you'll have this and then read me, you can delete read me. Okay, you have to extract it that here and then open up this folder you get. Now you have a uh, few few things here. Uh f f three things here. We can we don't have to mess with this. You have VMware unlocker, hardware virtualization and Mac OS X line. If I go to hardware virtualization, that's let me if you are on readme you can see the form allows you to bypass the request VMware sends for the hardware virtualization when starting a virtual machine. This for you all guys you don't have a hardware virtualization supported on your PC. This for 64 bit users and this for 32 bit users. Okay? And then we have VMware where unlocker. So you have for uh, VMware Fusion 4 is the so we have VMware 8 those are for VMware VMware uh, workstation which is 8 or for VMware Fusion 4 and this one VM, VMware 7.1.x series is for uh, 7.1 and above VMware workstation and workstations and VMware Fusion 3 so I'm using a 7.1.4. If I open it up, you have this. So you have Windows and Linux. If I go run Windows, open up this Windows batch file as administrator. Okay, and just wait for it to unlock everything. And it's done. So then we can go back, back and. Of course, there will be a link to download VMware Workstation 7.1.4. So, uh, if we go back and go to the our downloads, Mac OS X Lion, the folder, and then go Mac OS X Lion. Now, you won't have these uh, text documents. You'll have you'll only have this these four files. You want to open the this one, Mac OS X Lion, and it's VDMX file or something like this, but it's the this one. It's the fourth one. So you won't have this. I repeat, you won't have these text documents. So you run this one. It's the you have one, two, three, four, five. Is the fourth one. So you open it up with VMware Workstation, and I'll be back when it's opened up. Okay, so it's opened opened up, and now, oh my God, can you speak? Yes. And then I usually don't have this shitty windows, but this one just looks like that. So now what you want to do is, first time running it, you want to hit Edit Virtual Machine Settings and Memory. Uh, I'm using a uh, 4 GBs, and I put around 3.5 GBs because it's running smoothly. If you give it recommended memory, it will it will lag. It will lag a lot. So uh, maximum recommended memory. Put it there. Put it there. Believe me. Trust me. Processors leave it at one. Um, I'll leave it like that. Hard disk. Now we can leave it like that. And auto this one. Uh, leave it like that. And yeah. So let me just try to find out something. Yeah. So if you go to this hardware, if you go to options, you won't have this the sound card you won't have it like that so don't mess with that uh... i will show you how to get it later so go here go to the options here go to the shared folders and you'll have disabled click always enabled click add and next and just give it a name and uh, age 
and oh my god okay I'm just sorry sorry go to the browse and select your OST your main hard drive and just add and then uh, everything will save on that hard drive so you hit OK okay then we can power on a virtual machine and uh, I'll leave it loading so you can see everything that's happening out wh what's ha that's happening here so you can see this load up and it won't be full screen and if this happens uh, it won't happen on VMware 8 but it will on 7 and above you just hit OK and you'll get this and I'll leave it loading like that I won't pause the video maybe I will if it will take long but it takes about a minute so you can skip for third 45 seconds or 6 seconds I mean 1 minute if you don't want to wait but I'm, I'm just gonna go through the my to my to time that I have to wait so you can see if something's wrong with your VMware workstation or something yeah now I'm gonna shut up okay so it's up and uh, now again what the heck? Yeah. Okay, so now we're here. And we can go and we can see this. But we can switch to the full screen right here. I already have it in the highest quality. But if you switch to the full screen, you can see this looks beautiful. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to show you up something. Uh now it is a bit lagging because of I am am I still recording yes because of I am recording but if I go again there maybe it won't be so the lag sometimes happen I will restart machine and be back when it's restarted okay so now once it's again booted up you can see this it's running really smoothly high high quality but if we go to here this folder on your desktop it's called install after boot if we open it up we'll have these three files and yeah so uh, we can this one is install VMware tools install that and you have install this for graphics then you have to respring so you can let's say install this then you have to restart your machine go to system preferences go to displays and give your PC the display you want and now for the best possible sound you wanna run this in Sonic audio shit and when it asks you to restart, restart your PC restart your virtual machine and then once you restart it you can um, you can go you can go back to the you can uh, shut it down so if we go here and shut down shut down okay so it's shutting down and now uh, don't shut it down like going somewhere here and then uh, okay here on virtual machine power off go like on your own real Mac and shut down now what I said I'll talk to you about once you install that to get a real good one a real good sound go to edit virtual machine settings the hardware go to the sound card and click add yes then go to the sound card I already have one so I'm gonna go add the sound card no I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do um, and just go to the process and then use specific specific and re check the speaker real tech high def, def D E F I N I T I. So click that, click OK, power on your machine, and that's basically it, guys. And uh, it runs really smoothly, like you're on a real uh, Mac. Hope you like this. Hope you're gonna subscribe to me, to Ivan Croatia, and I hope you're gonna subscribe to GM Gaming and reviews, my friends. That's all. Let me see if I'm recording. Sure I am. See you next time, guys. I can press F10, but I'm uh, gonna click stop right now. Bye. See you next time, guys.